What are the two baseball autographs that you absolutely have to add to your collection today? That's today's topic on episode 11 of the Powers Sports Memorabilia Show. All right, thank you again for joining me. I am your host, Matt Powers, from the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. Appreciate you guys joining me. Please hit that subscribe button wherever you are following me. And always visit the website, please, at powersportsmemorabilia.com. So, common question I get about autographs are, you know, what's going to be going up in value? Which ones should I be looking at that are maybe a good value now that are going to be going up in the next uh, year or so? Or which ones are you know available now but may not be available in the future? So good common questions I get from collectors. So today I'm going to give you two autographs that you absolutely have to add to your collection today, okay? And one is going to be a current player and one is going to be a past player, okay? So real simple. So let's just get right to it here. Uh, the current player that you absolutely have to add to your collection today Place for the Atlanta Braves. I'm sure you can maybe think of it, Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, what a player this guy is! Uh, super popular. Uh, autographed baseballs are a great value right now. You know, you're looking at somewhere around 119 to 139, depending on uh, you know what's available. You know, he, this is kind of his rookie year here in 2018, so he's got 293, 26 home runs. A uh, guy who plays pretty good defense there. He's on a good, solid Braves roster. So that means they're going to be potentially making, you know, a postseason run, uh, hopefully every year. Uh, you know, rookie of the year also. He's got a couple different signatures, which is kind of funny. He's got his paid signature, which is kind of a an R, and A. And if you're watching on YouTube here, I'll post a video or a picture of that. And then he's got a short signature, which looks like kind of like a half star almost. I, I don't know I know, but uh, his paid one's definitely definitely a little bit better. But it's kind of a sloppy. Both of them are sloppy, but. Uh, but, you know, the thing with him is his his ceiling is just kind of, really, it's almost unlimited with this guy. I mean, he's just got, he's just one of those guys that comes up that's just kind of, you know, you always hear the 5 tool player and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. He's just a guy that can play baseball, you know. And you watch him in the, in the postseason, too. I mean, this guy is just, man, he's, his bat speed is just phenomenal. Uh, but, you know, uh, what I really like about him is, man, he's just so affordable right now. You can get a really quality item at a, a good price, so... Definitely one, especially when he, you know, if he wins Rookie of the Year, you know, that pricing is going to go up. So you're going to get a, a, an increase and in bump right in your value uh, right off the bat. So I only see him going up and up and up. And I definitely think he is one that uh, for a current player that you definitely need to add into your collection right away. Uh, moving on here, let's move on to the past player that you absolutely have to have in your collection. And this one is... Uh, uh, this one's a good one. You got to have this one. And uh, I'm talking about Willie Mays. You guys have heard me harp on Willie Mays, you know, for the last yeah, couple episodes he's been appearing in. Uh, you know, Willie is, he's 92 years old, man. And he's not going to be around for much longer. I know that's that's just sad to say, but that's just the reality of life and the reality of collecting autographs. And the, the pickings are going to get slim when he dies. I'm just, I'm just telling you that right now. Especially if you're looking for items you know, with an inscription, or if you're looking for some quality officially licensed items, you know, those are slim already, and they're expensive already. Imagine when, when he passes away. I mean, that stuff is going to double, triple, quadruple in value. Uh, you know, the thing with Maze, though, is, is you know, you just got to watch out for some of that stuff with the Maze holograms. And, I, you know, you know, you've heard me talk about that. God, you see these all over the place. People selling Maze hologram to catch 8x10s for, like, $40. I mean, come on. Ford, come on, seriously. I mean, some people are dumb, but I mean, that is just, uh, it's an unreal deal. I mean, that's just like pushing the envelope, you know. Um, so just be careful with Maze. You know, I, I would definitely always get something that has been, you know, third party authenticated with him, specifically, you know, like JSA, PSA, or Beckett. Those would be the three. There's just not much quote unquote first person stuff out there right now. You know, something like, you know, for example, like, you know, Upper Deck Authenticated with Michael Jordan. There's there's not much out there for Mace. He just hasn't done a signing in such a long time. And I don't think he's capable of signing. So you're not going to be able to get him in person either, really. I mean, his his graph now is just is not 
is not great, you know. I mean, it's just like Tommy Lasorda's, you know. So, and that's to be understandable. I mean, I, I could definitely see, see that. So, and I wouldn't probably want to do a signing if I was 92 years old anyway. But uh, so get something for him, you know. Be willing to pay a good price for a quality item. Okay, so don't be one of those people where it's like, you know, oh man, I'm getting an autographed baseball for $300. Oh man, I'd really like to get it for $250. Don't do that. Just pay the $300 and get the item. Trust me on this one. Maze is just going to be one that's just going to, he's just going to skyrocket. He's just going to go way up in value. I mean, look at this guy. I'm just going to rally off just a couple stats for you. And I know I've talked about his stats before, but it is just incredible what this guy has done in his career. Okay, so 660 home runs. We all know that. Uh, 1979 Hall of Fame, 24-time All-Star. It's like he never played a season without being an All-Star. Uh, 1954 World Series champion, two-time league MVP, which that's surprising. You know, you think he, he probably deserved maybe being an MVP a little bit more there. Uh, Rookie of the Year, 1951. And his Gold Glove winner also, of course. You know, obviously with the famous catch. Uh, you know, Giants Hall of Fame, all that, all that kind of stuff. You know, All-Century team, so... You know, Mays, if I were you guys and I was a hardcore collector, what would I want to get for Willie Mays? You know, I think you have to have something to catch in your collection. But just like as previously mentioned about the Mays holograms, just be careful about, about those. You're going to see a ton of those with the Mays hologram. Just Mays. Uh, you know, some are good, some are bad. Uh, I'm just telling people just to be on the safe side, just stay away from those. Um, you're going to see jerseys that are cheap, like $2.99, you know, bats, same thing. It's just, you know, just stay away from all that stuff with that. So assuming you find something with a quality cert with it and a quality autograph, you know, for me personally, I would definitely love to have the catch in a collection, uh, followed by probably a, a, a jersey. And the, and the reason why for a jersey is Mays is one of the top five players of all time, maybe top three, you know. So he's one of those guys that if you can find an officially licensed quality jersey, you go ahead and jump on that, especially if you get one at a quality price. And you know, I'm thinking a quality price right now is probably in the six to eight hundred range. Definitely think that's a that's a good price for Willie Mays because once he passes away, man, that thing's going to be fifteen hundred, two thousand easily. So you know, if you're looking to save a little bit of money but get a quality item, I would do it now. You know, uh, Mays is just it, there's nothing else that's going to be coming on the market. I just I can't really I, I can't emphasize that enough for you. So so if you're a baseball guy and you don't have Maze yet, get Maze. That's today's message, okay? I, you know, I hope you guys look back on this and maybe, you know, when Maze does pass away and you say, hey, you know what, man, I listened to him and I got, I got the good stuff and man, I, I saved a bunch of money and, I'm, and I got a quality item. And, and that's really what the, the, the message of today is. So uh, again, just to recap, Acuna and Maze, get them in your collection, get them now, don't wait. Uh, I've got a few things on my side, but you can get them anywhere, it doesn't matter to me. Um, just make sure you guys are getting a quality item at a good price. So, uh, anyway, that's today's topic, man. Super short and sweet. Uh, thanks again, guys, for everything. I always appreciate it. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And of course, visit the website powerssportsmemorabilia.com. Let me know if you if there's two I missed here. You know, I mean, there's a couple of different names that you guys could always uh, throw out there. So, if there's something that you think is one that's kind of a sleeper, hey, shoot me a message and uh, hey, maybe we'll do a video on that one. So, thanks again, guys. Always appreciate it.